Okay, we're gonna do standing calf raises on the speed machine. So this exercise is to build mass on your calves and also helps you to separate your calves as well. So as you guys can see, I have two 25 pound plates on the floor. The reason I have that there is to elevate my toes up a little bit more off the ground so I have more range of motion. The key here when you go down on the lower side of the movement, do not allow your heels to touch the ground. Once your heels touch the ground, you have completely deloaded the muscle. So keep this going throughout the set. When you're done with the set, that's when you want to touch your heels on the ground. I'm going to first of all show you common mistakes that people do on this machine. Too much weight, and they just go and they're bouncing up and down, straight up and down. When you do that, basically there's no feel around my, on my calves at all. So what I want you to do is make sure you angle your body straight up, Keep your legs straight, do not lock them. Only hinge from your ankle straight up and down. So this is what it looks like. Keep it straight up. Heels off the ground, toes on there, balls of your feet. And you go up, squeeze at the top, come down really slow. Up, squeeze at the top. Do not allow your heels to touch the ground. Up, squeeze at the top. Okay, a great variation is to turn your toes in. When you turn your toes in, you're gonna feel more the outside of your calves, which is the soles. Up, down, down really slow. Really feel the squeeze at the top. Pause for a little bit, come down really slow. And to feel the inside of your calves a little bit more, come up, squeeze using the balls of your feet. Come down really slow, up top. Squeeze at the top, feel the calves burning right now, I can feel it a lot more and I can also feel the pump. Squeeze at the top and do not bounce, come down, when you're done, use body and mind connection. When you go down, come up and feel like you're actually feeling the balls of your feet extending up to flex all the way to the top. This will allow you to feel more maximum contraction into the core of the calves. So make sure you vary your exercise as much as you can because the more variations you do, the more you work your way around your muscles. The goal here is to build mass and also to separate the calves. When you do this right, you're going to feel an extreme amount of burn in your calves. So this is really letting you know that you're actually flexing at the top, squeezing the muscle and releasing really slow. And that's how you do a standing calf raises with the Smith machine.